What if you have to find the mean, the median, and the mode from a frequency table with grouped data instead of individual scores? Well, we're going to use basically the same method, but the mean is going to be a little bit different. Let's do the other two first. I'll start with the mode, as usual, because it's the easiest. Which score has the highest frequency, the most common? This one. Oh, but it's not an individual score, is it? It's actually a whole group. We call that a class. It's actually 46 to 60. That's my modal class. Okay, I'm going to leave the mean, come back to the moment. Let's do the median. The median is the n plus 1 over tooth score. Find the middle. Okay. How many scores have I got? Well, it's not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Because there's 10 of those and 21 of those and 32 of those and 2 of those. So I actually have to add up the frequencies to find out how many scores I've got. Sum of the frequencies. 1, 11, 32, 64, 66. Okay, 66 plus 1 divided by 2. That tells me the position of the median. That's the 33 and a half score. Where do I find that? I'm going to have to use my cumulative frequency column. Add the frequencies as we go. So far I've seen 1. Now another 10, making 11. Now another 21, making 32. Now another 32, making 64. And another 2, 66. Double check that you have the same numbers. Okay, 33 and a half score. That's halfway between the 33rd score and the 34th score. Well, they are not yet, not yet, not quite yet. Both the 33, sorry, both the 33rd and the 34th scores, oh, they're in that group, but I don't actually know what they are, do I? This is a shorthand that's actually hidden the original scores from me. So all I can say, again, it's a median class, and the median class is here, 46 to 60. Same as it was for the mode. Okay, what about the mean? Well, I know that for the mean, I have to go sum of the scores divided by the number of scores. And in this case, it's the sum of the f times x divided by the sum of the f. Because I can't just have one, and then I can't just go this plus this, I've got to go this and then, hold on a minute, I've got a real problem here. How am I going to add this to this? How am I going to add 10 of these? I need some way of representing this score, well actually this class, by a single score. What number am I going to choose to represent each of those groups? Well, I need to choose the number in the middle. I'm going to adjust my table a little. We've done the median. So I'm going to reuse this column for fx, and I'm going to move this column across, and then we're going to fill in this column. Let's have a go. There. Okay. So I'm going to have to represent this class by a single scores. This is now actually just going to become the class and the score, my x value, is going to be the number in the middle of that class. That's a bit tricky, it's not an easy one. So let's just go 1 plus 15 and divide that by 2. What do I get? 16 on 2, which is 8. And the next class? 16 to 30. Well, can't even write the right thing. Sorry, that was 8. 
16 plus B divided by T. Six, oops, 16 plus 30 is 46 divided by 2 is 23. From there you should be able to see the pattern. That's going to be 38 and that's going to be 53 and that's going to be 68. Okay. All good. So now I'm going to need my calculator. I'm going to work out frequency times score so that I can add them up. Let's do it. 1 times 8 is 8. So I'm going to represent the single score here by the middle of the class. I don't actually know what it is. This is going to be an approximation to the true mean. Okay, 10 lots of 23, 230. Here's one in my calculator. 21 lots of 38, 798. 32 times 53, 1696, and 2 times 68. I could probably have done that one without my calculator, 136. And so the sum of my scores is actually sigma fx, the total of these, 8 plus 230 plus 798 plus 1696. Plus 136, 2868. So my mean is 2868 divided by 66. That's 43 point, and it goes on forever. 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, which I'm going to round off to two decimal places. So the mean of this data is actually this. And that's it. You just have to work out the centre of the column to be my score. So the centre of each class. Some people will write that rather than score, will write class centre. It's the same thing. That's our x value, which we're going to multiply by the frequency. So the mode and the median are done the same way as before. It's just you're going to get a class for an answer instead of a single score. The mean, we need to do some multiplying and calculations. So we pick a number in the middle of each class to represent that class. Let's try another example. I'm not going to worry about the mode and the median because as I said, they're done exactly the same way as when you have individual scores, except that the result is a class instead of one score. But the mean, let's look at the mean. Here, I've just got some, some classes and some frequencies. I've got my table set up, so I know I'm going to need the class centre, and I know I'm going to need to multiply frequency times score to get my mean. Let's try it. What's the class centre here? Well, halfway between 80 and 89. Well, if you're not sure, you can go 80 plus 89, all divided by 2. And you get 84 and a half. And you can then work out the pattern. It's going to be 94 and a half, 104 and a half. 114 and a half and 124 and a half. Okay, let's work out the mean. Frequency times score, 9 times 84 and a half is 760 and a half. 12 times 94 and a half is 1134. 7 times 104 and a half. 731.5, 3 lots of 114.5, 343.5, and 2 lots of that. I could probably do that one in my head, but I didn't. Okay, add these things up. 9 and 12 is 21, 28, and 3 is 31, 33. 
Add these up, I won't do that in my head. One, three, oops, one, one, three, four, plus seven, thirty one point five, plus three forty three point five, plus two forty one. Three, no. Three, two, one, eight point five. So my mean is 3218.5 divided by 33, which is 97.53. That sounds like a reasonable mean for this data. Now that data was discrete. So I was able to go 80 plus 89 divided by 2. But what if it's continuous data? Now, sometimes we write that like this. So now, it's 80 to less than 90, and 90 to less than 100, and 100 to less than 110, and so on. So now instead of discrete data, I've got continuous data. So my class centres are wrong, because this only worked because I had 89, but now I've got all the way up to 90. In fact, the class centre becomes even easier. It's going to be 80 plus 90 divided by 2, which means it's 85. Messy, let's try again. And all the others are going to change the same way. Okay, which means all my calculated multiples are wrong. Let me just go and fix those for you. Okay, so these numbers, you'll notice, are very similar to what was there before. They're only a little bit different because we only change this by a little bit. Let's have a look at the final result then. The mean is going to be 3235 divided by 33, which is 98.03. Before I had 97.53, now I've got 98.03. There's not a lot of difference. It's almost exactly the same. This was when it was discrete data, but if it's continuous data instead, it's just a little bit higher, which I would expect because the thing I'm using to represent those classes is exactly 0.5 higher. Look at that. 